by the Lord of sea and sky. I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright, who will Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. We pause now to call to mind our sins, to ask God's forgiveness that we may worthily celebrate this. Mass. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us bow our heads to pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord. Give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as a servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of Israel and restore the survivors of Israel. 
I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial. I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. I, I praise, praise you, for I am wonderfully made. O oh Lord, you have probed me, you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar, my journeys and my rescue food and nights. With all my ways, you are familiar. I, I praise, praise you, for I, for I am wonderfully made. made. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I, I praise, praise you, for I am wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. My soul also you knew full well. Nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth. I, I praise, praise you, you, for I am wonderfully made. made. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as king. Of him, God testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. For this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me, and I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately, his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, today as we celebrate the Nativity of John the Baptist, John the Baptist has two feast days. This one, his Nativity, and another, his death, and rightly so, because John is the hinge between the Old Testament and the New. He has one foot in the Old and one foot in the New, and he is the one that is ushering in the New Covenant that will be made in Christ. The great thing about John's birth, of course, is the miraculous things that surrounded it but perhaps more than anything else, that he was chosen, as it says 
in the responsorial psalm in the first hymn, he was chosen from his mother's womb. Indeed, even when Mary comes to visit with Elizabeth, John, the child within her womb, leaps for joy. His, his calling, his vocation, is to prepare the way for Christ. Now, John had a great following, and many of them wanted him and believed him to be the Messiah. So you can imagine how difficult it would be to be able to have the humility John had to say, no, uh, he must increase and I must decrease. John knew that he was <coughs> called not to be the one, but to prepare the way for the one. So we celebrate John the Baptist, who prepared the way of the Lord, for it is what we are all called to do, to prepare the way for the Lord in our world, in our time, in our society, and into all of humanity, that God, that Jesus, would come into their lives. We are the ones who must prepare the way for him to enter. May God bless us and may St. John the Baptist give us the strength and the wisdom and the humility to be the servants of Christ. Let us stand to pray. With faith and trust in the Lord's mercy, let us bring before him our prayers for the church and the world that all members of the church may continue being open to the presence of Jesus in our lives, saying yes to his invitation to follow him each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. That the gospel may be proclaimed to the entire world through word and deed and by the example of the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord that God may encourage and guide all new parents as they navigate the joys and struggles of their vocation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the Lord may strengthen our community's commitment to serving and caring for the poor, the lonely, and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all of the fathers who are remembered in our Father's Day Novena, both living and deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. That the light of God's unceasing love may shine upon all those who have died with the hope of eternal life, especially those whom we now remember in a moment of silence. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For what else shall we pray? For my sister will Kathy and live until her 70th birthday, that the Lord grant each one of us. We pray for the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For peace to come to the Ukraine and to our own country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For my Aunt Patty for peace and for strength in her uh, final days. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 hear our prayer. Lord, you are the source of all that is good, true, and beautiful. Hear these prayers we have lifted up to you and answer them, we ask, in accordance with your divine will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless Bless you, God. God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the Lord, world Savior and pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to hear him supreme hear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the Church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially any of the fathers remembered in our novena. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power,